when he was three, he was on an awful lot of steroids and antibiotics for asthma. And it used to kill me. He was on so many drugs for such a small child. So when they wanted to put him on a nebulizer, this big, huge thing, um, I just kind of went, can I just not for a minute? So I went and I went the homeopathic route and I've never looked back and it worked for us. And my son doesn't have asthma and he hadn't within a few months. So the whole, then I realized, wow, this, this stuff really works. <laughs> so I went, now I do, I got cigarettes also using uh, EFT, emotional freedom technique. And I loved my cigarettes. They were, they were something I held on to very tightly. Mm. There again, when that worked for me, there again, I could see how I could. Um, I went off point again, didn't I? Sorry. So I suppose that was my journey from law. Um, my, you know, life and my path and uh, it, my work ended and dried up with the recession and that and then I had my children and it was a natural sort of progression into their health and you know and also their emotional health yeah kids kind of, do that. They kind of take become the center focus of your life at that point obviously yes. and I, I've got three three sons myself and now a couple of grandchildren so it's an oh, amazing yes. the whole yeah. the whole venture or journey is amazing with a with a family and what it does and how it changes which is exciting in itself okay so then so now you you get into this um area of i is it is is healing the proper term is that what you do you help people heal or do you is it more about the emotions and and helping them to become better people or or maybe the the purpose of what they're here for yeah, and I also like to think I, 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 I always say when I'm teaching my workshops that it's, it's empowering people to, I don't heal anybody, as we know, you know, um, I would assist somebody, yes, I would, um, you know, I would give them tools, I think all, everything I do is tools to help them to do the work themselves, and that's the work I do with children, it's about empowering children to realise they have a choice, mm. but yes, I suppose when someone comes to me, I'm in, I am a therapist in that area where by when I do my, my Reiki on someone, I'm holding a very high vibration with their highest intention in my head. So, you know, if, if they come to me for something, I have the intention that, that whatever they need to dissolve will dissolve, you know. But we don't have, like, if they have a sore back, um, they may need to, that might be coming, that might be, it might manifest as a sore back, but they may have issues that be dealt with so they may feel a pain in their head during the session that something may need to shift in another area and then mm -hmm. the pain in the back may go. Sure, sure, sure. Did I answer that okay? Yes, I absolutely. Do lot, so you, need to, you need to hold me in every now and again. No, 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 that's fine. You're, you're doing great. Just for those of you that um, may not know, I didn't really even t say, but uh, at the beginning of our lab here today that Dolores is actually in Ireland. And so when she talked about the recession and some of the things that she was going through, in her personal life, it obviously was directly related to Ireland there. So that might have been some, I just wanted to throw that in so people knew where you're from. Um, okay, so let's get to this emotional freedom technique that you do. Now, is it safe to say with what I know about that, that this is uh, because there was a big world summit called tapping? Yeah. Is, this, is it the same thing? Um, is that one and the same or are they similar or or? Explain a little bit about what EFT is. Sure, yes, Emo uh, EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. So basically, um, if you have, like most things that we, most ailments we have, whether it be chronic uh, pain, whether it be an addiction to cigarettes or whatever, there's nearly always an emotional aspect attached to things. 